Welcome back to Wayward Sun Custom. Today is day two of SHOT Show still. I know, just video after video, um, but you know, there's like 2,500 exhibitors here, so I'm not gonna be able to do them all, but I'm trying my darndest. Um, anyway, I'm here with Silver Creek Firearms, and you're gonna get a real kick out of some of the beautiful stuff that uh, my man Oscar here is gonna show us. I've been told he is um, an expert when it comes to this, uh, this company. I am told that uh, this is all his brainchild. Um, that's right, he's taking full credit for it. Actually, I don't, know, I don't know if that's true or not, but anyway, he's gracious enough to give me some time. So let's hear from Oscar. It just helped, that's all. <laughs> we're uh, re uh, manufacturing the uh, 357. It's a seven shot made out of stainless steel, 17.4. And it's a single and a double action revolver. The barrel has a variable pitch rifling in it. It starts out at 36 and decreases to, or increases to 18. The um, handles are we have a wide selection of the materials that we use. We also build those. These are 100% manufactured in Michigan, and with the exception of the screws and the springs and the fiber optics, which are all American made. And that's about it. The uh, we have a nice logo on the on the butt there. Oh, nice. It's a very nice gun. It's high quality, very smooth action. And beautiful too. Almost it, almost too pretty to shoot. It is. Almost. It, almost. Um, but, but, <laughs> but I'd also like to point out to everybody watching that you guys don't just make beautiful stuff. You make some stuff with some purpose to it too. Yeah. There's been several people that have shot uh, white tailed deer in Michigan with this, with this revolver. Bead glass finish, but it's also made of the 17 horse stainless steel. A ported barrel, it looks like? It is a ported barrel, which limits the kickback quite a bit compared to uh, another compatible gun, which we tested. It went up to 90 degrees on our test stand. This barb gun went only went up to 35 degrees, so it's a quite a bit less. Kickback. Very nice, very yeah. nice. Almost like shooting a 22, huh? Well, like a, like a 38 <laughs> instead of a 357. Well, uh, you can't beat that though. No. Um, and I will say that I, I've said this a, a, for a few other booths as well, but the video that I'm taking right now, any still photos that I put out, don't do these things justice. I mean, these are big, beastly, manly guns. Uh, but then you also have your Texas barbecue gun over here that will still get the job done. So uh, a little bit of something for everybody. The the grips too. I don't want to just focus on the uh, firearm itself. The grips are very well executed, very pleasing to the eye, um, just well crafted. Um, just as far as everything goes. I mean, just uh, it really caught my eye as I was walking by. The, uh, the attention to detail and the craftsmanship here. I mean, just beautiful guns. Um, makes, you want to, makes you want to relive Dirty Harry. <laughs> well, anyway, um, anything else you want to uh, tell us about anything? No, that's about it. All righty. Well, thank you very much, Oscar. You, and uh, like I was saying, guys, the uh, quality of the craftsmanship, the... Um, and not just the beefiness and the utilitarian aspect, but the, uh, the attention to detail as far as the aesthetics go. Um, these are some really nice guns. You should check out Silver Creek Firearms. And until next time, watch your six. Carry on. Larry's Sun out.